Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gents? It is your boy here, Imo, and welcome back to another video on my channel here. In today's video, we will be talking about a new devlog. This is episode two. So in the devlogs, we like to discuss the new weapons that we've designed for the week, our plans, and new features that we've also designed. So ladies and gents, if you haven't watched episode one, I do recommend you go check that out. I will plug it up above in the video. And also, guys, thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers. That is outstanding. And I just, I, I couldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you so much. 50,000 is our next target. Hopefully 2021 will be our year. But ladies and gents, drop a like, subscribe, join my Discord in the link in the description down below. And uh, yeah, buckle up. Here we go. Welcome back then, guys. Thank you again for being here. If you haven't, drop a sub. But uh, let's, well, pretty much begin. So last week, we discussed the new ACR and we showed the gold camos. This week, I've got a, well, two new guns to show you guys. A new character, which is in development. And also, just to explain what we do on a weekly basis. And I'm pretty excited to share this news with you. So let's just uh, hop straight into it. We're going to jump straight into the new character. Here he is right now on the screen. So if you're wondering what I'm looking at, I'm just looking at it as well. So I can kind of explain what I'm looking at and how to you know, pursue it. So ladies and gents, this operator, I'm not going to tell you what he does exactly, but I'm going to give you a brief overview of him. So as you can see, he looks kind of stealthy. He looks high tech. And also, as you can see in the top left of the image, there's a gadget on his arm. And I did do a, a quick short video a few days ago explaining if any of you could, ex you know, guess what that ability would be, then I would gift you a $10 gift card. I read through all of the comments and not one of you even thought about it. Like a lot of people thought it was like some kind of shield um, and all that kind of stuff. But you know what i'm gonna let you guys know what it is anyway so as you can see down the right side of the image you can see this this nice little tactical uh weapon as of such in fact that is a spike so you're probably wondering at this moment in time what what, what do you mean a spike how does this work so this operator has got a prime purpose of protecting reinforced walls they did as a defender so that arm piece will actually open and shoot one of those spikes out of the arm towards a reinforced wall and then it will pulse. So as you guys are probably aware back on Area F2 and Rainbow Six Siege, you've got these like, you know, you can chuck like a grenade at the wall and it, then it starts electrocuting so nobody can put any attachment like uh, breach charges or anything on the other side of the wall. But with ours, because we're in the future, ours is a spike that hits the wall and pulses energy so this can be seen on both sides of the walls the best way to explain that is think of as a circle and the circle is constantly expanding like there's about four or five rings and then it stops and then four or five rings again so it's nice and noticeable and it's a it's, it's called a pulse effect so that is what this operator is all about he is going to be one of the most used defenders in my opinion because if you don't use him People are going to breach through to the objective room way too easy. So, ladies and gents, I really hope that you that you like the concept and the idea. And I can't wait to show you this finalized model character. Hopefully we can get that, you know, complete by next episode. While we're talking about episodes, though, I just want to briefly explain, you know, what's going on on a weekly to week basis. Because there's not a lot that we can show you every week because it does take time and effort. We've actually had to let two developers leave our team. I'm not going to go down the reasons why, but that means now that we have to, you know, double up our work. And uh, yeah, the manpower at the moment, we're, we're slacking the manpower at the moment because we haven't got many developers. So Christmas is coming up. We're slowing down and a lot of pressure is being put on the developers that are working hard. So ladies and gents, please respect um, us as a game company. We are trying our hardest to get this game out as soon as possible but while we're on that topic we're looking to get this game out for about summer 2021 for those people that keep asking 
Right, the second part of this that I want to show you, and I'm so excited to show you this, and it's going to be one of my favorite weapons to use, and you've probably seen it in the thumbnail, but the Desert Eagle, ladies and gents. So here it is from the side view. Boom! Let's just take a moment to appreciate that right now. That looks so sexy, so clean, and I'm not being biased or anything because it's, of course, this is going to be my game. Well, I'm a well, I'm a founder of the game, so it's going to be part of my game. I'm not being biased at all, but that Desert Eagle looks in clean, dudes. I kid you not. So you got the nice green like over light on the actual tip of well the little iron sight at the very top of the uh, the weapon, which is it gives that futuristic feel. Um, it's designed a little bit differently to what you usually see Desert Eagle looking like. And I'm kind of excited to implement this to the game. I hope you really like this. And here's another image of the Desert Eagle right now. And this is more of a back view. So as you can see on the iron sights on the back, you've still got those green, nice LED shiny parts of the weapon. Then if you're taking a look at the actual handle itself, it just looks goddamn clean. And I'm so, I'm so happy with how the modelers came up with this one. And I can't wait to get the animations complete on this just to see the weapon and the recoil patterns. I'm super excited. On to the next image then, guys. It's going to be um, an M4, which is nowhere near complete at the minute. So as you can see, the, there's three different attachments that are on this. There's a there's a grip. There's um, a different kind of barrel. So this is a, more of a test. This is nowhere near a finalized, um, you know, weapon. This is more of we're just testing the waters with different equipment and what how should we, should we make it more futuristic. So why am I showing you these little images? Uh, this one and the, the more that I'm about to show you. Basically because every week, you know, we might not be able to finish a weapon or anything. So sometimes there might be devlogs where we haven't got anything finished to show you. But what we can show you is what we are working on and our plans and sketches and stuff like that. Because making a game is a little bit different. It's not like you click your fingers, right, get that done, right, brilliant, it's done. Now get that done, boom, it's done. You complete, you, you complete like a weapon, for example, and you have to then recomplete it and recomplete it another two or three times until everyone is satisfied with the weapon. There's a lot of things and errors that go wrong when it comes to programming a game and then 3D modeling as well. So. On to the next image then, guys, is again, this is something that we're working on at, at the moment. This was the barrel for the ACR. So the ACR, if you guys watched the previous video, if you didn't, go watch it, uh, the devlog one. So we are actually at, like changing the barrel a little bit and adding um, an iron sight. So that weapon isn't fully finished yet. So we're still working on that. Next image then is another view of like an M4A1. But uh, again, it's just us kind of getting used to how it's being built and then this is nowhere near the finalized version but again it's nice to show you what we are working on next image then is going to be again an inside part of a barrel again it's more of us working on things it's still not 100 percent complete we're you know we're trying to make everything as fully satisfactional as possible next image then is just a pretty basic grip nothing special there but it's, you know, we're working on like the textures on that. So that's going to be, look, you know, we haven't completely finished how it's going to look, but we're going to um, kind of add like a texture and some hand grips into that. Onto the next image here then, the ACR. So you guys saw the ACR in the last video and in the leaked images that we keep leaking. But uh, yeah, we're working on the magazine at the moment because we're not 100% satisfied with that. So that's what you can see in this image. We're just kind of working with that. Nothing special again, but like like I said, we're bringing you on the journey here. And then the final image I want to show you guys is something that I'm really excited to show you. And that is this image here. So this is the um, the sniper rifle. Okay. I'm not going to give you the name of it yet because we haven't announced our names of all the weapons yet. But uh, we've taken the scope completely off it. So if you guys are in, in the War in Arms Discord server, if you're not, go join it in the link in the description and also join mine as well as we always leak images of the new weapons. And, uh, but yeah, so you, you probably have seen this sniper, but with a scope and then with the bipod pointing downwards, but we've changed the, the, the you know, the appearance of it. Again, it's not fully finished yet, but if you want to see what we did do the other day, which we've changed is this image right here. This is the, the sniper with the scope 
and as you can see the bipod is down but we, we did read the people's comments on it and uh, that's why we changed it so but ladies and gents that is pretty much all i've got to showcase you as in images and then i just want to quickly add to 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 this as well so over the next couple of weeks now and um, the videos may slow down on war in arms and that is because christmas is coming up um you know obviously we're not going to be working crazy over christmas we're going to take a nice christmas holiday off but yeah we're you know we're expecting to release this game around 2021 around the summertime and um, there is going to be no beta there's going to be an open alpha so we can you know let everybody in and then also you know test our servers that way but our servers can hold over 7 million players active players at the same time over different regions if you guys are not sure what that means go look it up research it um it's pretty pretty bland but we've got a couple of servers um you know nationwide so hopefully we can you know meet meet the people's needs if this game pops off like how we forecasted it to pop off then we're, we're prepared so i'm kind of excited for that but again guys um some of these videos may not be interesting to you because we don't get to showcase you all the finalized designs because of course it doesn't just take seven days for us to complete something it may take us a month to complete something so i just hope that you're enjoying this journey that we're bringing you on pretty much though guys and uh yeah just thank you so much for supporting me uh supporting my channel and supporting war in arms as well so without further ado guys i just want to quickly mention as well over my channel in the next couple of days well over the next couple of weeks and months until this game releases i will be starting to upload more games on my youtube channel not just war in arms leaks okay because i want to start bringing myself back into a content creator role and i really want to start dipping back into some games so i've got pubg mobile and call of duty mobile and uh, standoff 2 those are the games that i'm aiming to play but i do really want to dip my toes into some pubg mobile as they've just you know announced the indian version of pubg going live soon so i'm pretty excited for that pubg mobile is going to go huge in 2021 especially with a 14 million dollar prize pool um unfortunately at the moment call of duty is just not you know cutting ties with me at the minute that they're just uh they're slacking in areas where they can actually improve their weapons balance the games and at the moment they think they're doing the right things but they're going back in time it, it's it's not a good look on call of duty at the moment and i love that game dearly i just really hope that they can sort out the issues they're having that is why i haven't been uploading or live streaming call of duty content but guys go follow my 12 as well i am a partnered 12 streamer link in the description down below i will be streaming over there as well as well as youtube okay apart from that though ladies and gents thank you so much for being here i hope you enjoyed this video and i can't wait to see you again in my next one Take care, guys. Subscribe. <laughs>